Hey guys, welcome back. In the last session, we have uh, discussed about the account services and uh, we have completed the add account method. Okay, so let's recap what we have done in the last couple of sessions. Uh, so we have created the account services class. In the account services class, we have created the add account method. In the add account method, we are uh, like before adding an account, uh, uh, before creating an account. Uh, so what we are doing is uh, we are checking whether the customer is onboarded to the bank. So if the customer is onboarded to the bank, we have an entry in the customer service database. OK, so in the customer service database, we have a customer details uh, uh, stored actually. So if the customer is not onboarded to the uh, you know customer uh, to the bank, uh, so we shouldn't be having any entry in the uh, you know customer service database. So now what we are doing is when we are uh, you know going to create the account, first what we are going to do is first we are validating whether the customer is uh, uh, is having uh, is onboarded to the bank or not. So if he is onboarded to the bank, what we are doing, well, what we are doing is for that customer, we will be creating a bank account. That's what we are doing. If the customer ID is not exist, if the customer is not onboarded to the bank, then what we are doing, we are throwing an exception like uh, so uh, the customer is not onboarded to the bank or we can we can simply throw an exception like uh, the customer ID uh, you are suggesting it, he is not onboarded to the bank as of now. OK, that's what we can say. So this is how we have this is this is what we have coded uh, uh, as of now or till till today. OK, now in this session, what we will be doing is we will be creating a controller. OK, what we are doing, we will be creating a account services controller which will be reading the account related details. OK, so once we read this account related details, we will be processing this account details. We will be sending this account details back to the service class. Service service class will be processing this request and it will be, you know, creating the account. OK, so that's what it is going to do. So now let's go and quickly create a account service controller. Let's go. So here we are creating a account controller class. Account service controller. OK, this is what. Uh, this is the class we are going to create. So now I'll be making this class as the controller so we can use rest controller notation i'll make this class as a one of the controller now we should be accepting the uh, we should be if you want to mention the you know uh path param if you want to mention the uh you know context param or if you want to mention the uh you know uh, uh the uh api uh, URI so you can set the API URI in the request mapping at the top of the class. So here you will be saying that account services slash v1 is the API name is the URI base URI. So in that we will be having we will be have we will be writing him in that we will be uh, inside this account services class we will be writing a method to create a account create account okay create account this create account will be taking the account as the parameter account account as the parameter let's import the account okay so now how to read this account we will be getting this account details from the postman okay so where we are getting all these details in the request body you can see i'll show one put request actually post request see here you can see this is a post request where you are sending the post request in the request body you are sending it so how you are sending it as a raw in a json format you are sending it so this is what you are reading it okay that request body only you are reading it so in order to read that request body we have a notation called request body annotation request body annotation so let's import the request body now you have 
you know uh, import into the request body as well okay as of now let's make this method as void so that we don't see any kind of error so now we have the account details now so now what you have to do we have to process this account details we have to give this account details back to the account services let's inject the account services and say private account services account services semicolon let's auto wire it auto wired we have auto wired the account services as well now here i'll write some logger actually i'll say log okay. i have to import the slf 4g right i have to use slf 4g annotation which is comes with the you know long box i'll be using this so to add the loggers i'll be using i'll be taking the help of a long box okay now i'll say creating account creating account for a, a given customer okay and here i'll be giving the customer details and i'll say account dot and you know, account dot get customer id that's fine so now we have uh, you know uh, logger we have logged the message now the next thing what we have to do or the next thing what we have to do we have to use the account services we have to process this one so account services dot let's say add account i'll be calling add account by passing the account details i have passed it okay this one this one will return the account actually this one if you see this add account services dot add account this will be returning what it will be returning account let's go to the account services controller so here will be returning account okay account fine so now we are checking if the account is null if the account uh, is null so we are getting the response if the response is null so what we are doing we are just simply throwing an exception throw throw exception new run time exception i will say account problem in creating the creating the account for a cus given for given customer for given customer and you should be giving the customer details you should be giving the customer id so account dot get customer id that's what instead of this we have to give the account actually because we are getting the exception because of this one right so that's why we have to pass the account actually yeah okay, let's leave like that Okay, getting some rest point uh, error actually let's go to the else, else block let's work on the else block so we will be saying that uh, logger dot info so if the account uh, is not throwing an exception if the account uh, is not equal to null we will say that account is created successfully account created successfully now what you have to do you have to return the response actually i'll say uh response entity i'll say return response uh, response entity response entity dot i'll say created i'll say created instead of giving the uri so let me give okay and here i'll be getting the response body i'll be sending the response body so i'll say account details so here i'll write response entity of account so i'm not getting any kind of exception now so what i have did over here i have created the account method and i have uh, uh, you know read the account details from the postman and i'm giving the same details to the account service account service will be you know validating the customer and it will be creating the account once it is created the account so it will be 
uh, you know, giving this account details back to the postman. That's what we are doing it. Okay. In the next session, what we will do is we will be running this entire, uh, uh, you know, account services application and we will be testing it. Okay. Uh, until then, thank you for watching. Please do subscribe to my channel. Actually, I'm getting a lot of effort. Actually, uh, I'm putting a lot of effort actually uh, to like create the videos and edit the videos. Okay. So uh, please do like, share and subscribe. Okay. To my YouTube channel. Okay. Thank you for watching.